Hi everyone. Welcome to today's short story. Before I begin the story, let's think about a few things to start off with. To what extent do opinions, gratifications and approvals that surround us matter to us in our growth? As a child, what parents, friends, relatives and teachers have to say about our capabilities matter to us. But did that change when we grew up? As a parent, as a fully grown adult, as a working professional, did these opinions cease to matter or did they matter more just in different ways? What your relatives, what your spouse what your colleagues or your boss at work think about you matters a lot. In fact, at this stage in our lives, even what our kids think of us or what our elders think of us matters tons. Don't you think this is a constant, constant pressure that keeps increasing every single day? Well, with today's story, I hope to help you address just that. And hopefully, at the end of the story, you'll help release yourself of that constantly increasing pressure. So without much ado, let's begin with today's story. A DC stories begin. Our story is about a young artist, a young man in his 20s, who was extremely gifted extremely talented and extremely passionate. He loved colors every single day with a lot of conviction, with a lot of energy and excitement. He would go to his guru to learn a new technique of painting, to learn how to use multiple colors and different color palettes to throw them all together onto one canvas and create beauty, create art. He did this continuously for a couple of months and his teacher was extremely happy with his student. He showed a lot of growth every single day. But in all of these days, the Guru did realize one thing, that this young artist, over and above growing his talent, needed one lesson. So, just like all Gurus do, he too had a solution. So he asked the student, his pupil, to take all of his paintings, to take all of his creations and put them on display at a market nearby. The student happily agreed. The next day, when this young artist collected all of his art, all of his work from the Guru's place to go and display it at the market as discussed, the Guru stopped him and said something. He said, Dear son, when you display all of these masterpieces that you have created at the market, make sure that everyone who comes by and stops to see these paintings, make sure you ask them this one question. Now the student was a little confused. However, he asked, what would you have me ask, sir? The guru smiled and said, let them all observe these paintings carefully. But at the end, do ask them how they liked it and what do they think about it. The student happily smiled, thinking to himself, trying to imagine what people would have to say about his work. Happily, he continued with all his artwork and went up to this market and put them up on display. Now the whole day went by. At the end of the day, when he returned back to the Guru's house with all his artwork, Instead of happy, he looked extremely sad. In fact, even disappointed. The Guru knew exactly what would have happened. But nonetheless, he looked at his student and asked him, What happened, son? Why do you look so disturbed? The student took a deep breath. And he said that I think I put in so much effort in all of these art pieces that I've created. You yourself told me that they're beautiful. However, when I put them up on display, people stopped by, observed all of these paintings, 
But when I asked them these questions that you told me to ask them, they had different things to say. And that is something that continuously disappointed me. The Guru knew exactly what was happening. So he prodded a little more. He asked him what the people who stopped by and watched these paintings had to say. The student, with a sad face, replied as he narrated everything that happened on that day. He said, multiple people stopped by, observed the paintings, but when I asked them what they thought about it, everybody had an input, had something or the other that they thought was required to make this particular painting more beautiful. Someone said that had the colours been different, the painting would have looked better. There were other people who said that this art piece could have been on a larger canvas. Some even said that the choice of colours could have been better. Some said that the drawing could have been more elaborate, could have been more intricate. The work, the colours added, could have been more detailed. However, I heard all of them, but not one single person gave me a compliment for what my art was. The Guru smiled and told the, the little student. He said, never mind son, next day go again and do the same thing. Let's see, maybe different people, different opinions. He went again on day two and on day three, day four, day five, day six and this continued for 10 long days. This was becoming an ordeal for him. Every single day he would go happily, thinking positively, but he would come back disappointed and dejected. On the 10th day, the student was furious and he came back questioning his abilities. He came back angry and told his guru, what have you taught me? Every day people are finding flaws in my work. There is something or the other that people want as an addition to make it more beautiful. You have taught me nothing. None of my work is of any good. The Guru knew exactly what he was doing. So he asked, requested the student to go one more day. On the 11th day, he said, ask them all the same question. But after this question, I'd like you to add another statement. The student was a little confused, but he was an obedient student. So he asked, what would you have me ask them, sir? The Guru smiled and said, ask them if they can show you what they would like to add to the painting and offer them the paintbrush and the paint and the canvas to make the changes that they want to. The student followed this instruction and went back to the market. And the 11th day, at the end of the day, when this same student returned back to the Guru, he wasn't sad, he wasn't dejected, not disappointed either. On the contrary, he was quiet, contemplative. The Guru asked him what exactly happened. And the student said, all of these people who stopped by had something or the other to say, an opinion or two about every painting when I asked them to add what they thought was required to make this painting more beautiful, nobody, not one single passerby, not one single visitor, bothered to pick up the brush and make a single change. Not a single change to make the picture better in the same way they described it would be. The Guru smiled, put his hand on the student's head, and said, this is the lesson you had to learn, my son. People's opinions, their word on your work matters. It matters because it helps you grow, but it doesn't matter to the extent that you allow it to. Don't allow people's opinions to make you judge yourself or doubt yourself in any manner. What you were yesterday, is different from what you are today. And that was the lesson that this Guru wanted to teach his student. There are several things we can learn from this story. In life, 
we often end up taking two steps forward, three steps backward sometimes. We constantly struggle with growing, with bettering ourselves with each passing day. And in that struggle, we keep comparing ourselves with the people around us. We keep allowing people's opinions to bother, to matter, to help us judge ourselves. And to what extent we do that matters tons. As long as every single day you take that one step forward, you lay another brick, you build, you work on yourself, is the only thing that matters. People's opinions will come and go. Not saying they're not necessary, they're not important. They will matter in your growth. But to what extent you allow that to influence you, to weigh you down, to add that pressure on your shoulders is up to you. You are your own unique person and your journey is just yours. As long as every day you are working to better yourself, to do better than what you did yesterday, is all that matters. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope this story helps you release all the pressure that we keep adding to ourselves every single day. Until we meet again with yet another beautiful story, this is Aditi. Bye-bye. Aditi, where stories begin.